Hello and welcome back to The Witness. This puzzle had me a bit stumped last time and I ended up looking at it a little bit afterwards, just testing a few things out and I actually ended up solving it, but I couldn't understand why I solved it. It was really strange, but then I played around with it a bit more and looked around a little bit and then finally it clicked. So. Let's just explain this concept, what's going on here, and, well, then we have another one right here that we, well, two more. So we'll have to do those as well, I haven't looked at those. But yeah, so, I was trying everything I could think of. As I said last time, it is actually impossible to- wow, why does it feel so laggy? What's happening? Okay, there we go, now it's- that was better again, that was weird. Uh, it's impossible to separate the green and the purple and the red, all three of them, that is not something you can do. So I was starting to think like, okay, maybe it's something weird where like, similar color hues actually count together or something, so like purple and red are sort of similar, so maybe they can be in a block together or whatever, but then I was trying to like, encapsulate these, cause like, oh, blue and cyan and green, shouldn't they be? be the same and stuff, and... Oh man, now it's dropping again. Uh, one moment. There we go, let's see if that's any better. I think V-Sync had like re-enabled itself. But yes, yeah, so I was trying to separate these out somehow, like this kind of shape, but I couldn't figure out any way you could do that and still get to the end. And then I just did... Uh, hold on. I did... This. And that works. And I, I couldn't understand why. Like, okay, I can kind of understand this sort of lime green and cyan being the same hue, and purple and red being the same hue, sort of. But how does it make sense that black and blue, or black and dark blue, like, sure this is a little darker, but I don't know, this didn't add up at all. So I, I looked around, I like saw, uh, tried to find if there was any uh, environmental clue or whatever, or something that I was missing, and there is something I'm missing. There is something I'm missing right here. You can see when you look through the tinted glass in this area, the colors like blend together, some of them, which makes all of these essentially black and all of these are green and all of these are red. So that's how it all works. And oh boy, that would have probably taken me a long time to do on camera. So uh, lucky I did that. But yeah, there we go. So that's how this works. So now we have like green, these are probably together. I mean, this seems... Doesn't this seem, like, super easy? can I just do... Uh... No? Maybe it's not super easy. I want to, like, separate... Yeah, I wanted to separate the... Like, have these two colors together, these two, and these two. But can I not do that in any way? Hmm. Doesn't really seem like I can do that. As far as I can tell. So, that's probably not it. We should just look through, like, either here. Oh. Then red becomes black. That's probably what you do. Because then, you'll be looking here, and you see, oh... Th this is what I was trying to do. Oh, I need to... Oh, you can't solve it through here. You need to, like, encapsulate these two, or these four blocks, and then these four somehow, and those four, which is not possible. But if you look in the blue, then it's a different configuration that maybe you can do. Yeah, because this becomes blue when looking in a blue-tinted glass. So then we can do this, and then that. There we go. All right. Now I'm understanding these. I wonder if that's how those other colors, other symbols are supposed to be. Were, were there like any tinted glass windows back in town? We'll have to check. But yeah, probably again, I imagine there's like two different versions. So either, I mean, do these count as the same? Probably not. These don't look the same at all. Oh boy. Wow, that's like very different. Ah, but purple or pink becomes orange, and white becomes yellow. So, in this one, it's only these two that, like, combine, and can we do that? 
Uh, I don't know if I can do that. I can't separate these two while having this be like an L shape. So that's probably not it. Yeah, so that might not be it, but then here... Like, how how would this this work? If I do... If I just, like, box in all of these... Whoa! Okay, that that's not fine. Sorry, game. And is there anywhere else we can look at it from? Like, upstairs, but not really. And this doesn't change anything. Huh. Wait. No. Wait. Close the door. No. Ah. Maybe this, you look at both of them together? But no, that's like... That's the same as I've done before, right? They would just be like these together and then the rest fine, but no, that doesn't work. Hmm. I don't think I can look at it any other way. Like, would these be fine together or are they different tints? Hell, would these be fine? Like, this isn't necessarily the same tint of blue. But I don't think you can separate them. I don't understand this one. There's obviously some new trick to it, but... I have no idea what it's asking me to do this time. And I, I don't just, like, ignore all of the windows, right? That's not a thing. And looking through the outside window is not going to, like, produce any different results. No. Oh, it can't get up, so I can't, like, look at it from upstairs. Man, the, the frame rate is really bad for some reason. I don't know if it's just this area or what. Huh. Yeah, this seemed promising, but again, like, I don't think I can... Oh, wait, I maybe I can. Hold on. I think I can maybe separate that and that. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay. It even... Wait, that would have been fine with this. Yeah, okay, I just didn't... Wait! No, it wouldn't have. Yeah, okay, that was the, the solution. You have to look at both to get these to be the same tint. If you just look at yellow, then you would have to separate the green and white, which is not possible. Okay, that was a tricky one, but yeah, just like... At first, you look at the yellow glass, then you look at the blue glass, then you look at both together. That does make sense. And now, we're entering the pink zone. Do we have to now, like, account for it being pink? Whoa. Oh, I see. Wow, this is elaborate. Any environmental puzzles? So, like, now, these are different. Now we can, like, separate these, and I guess it would be solved like that? Yeah. Because then... And now we can't solve this, and so now we close it up again. And it's probably solvable in the pink hue. So this is all about, like, both windows, tinted windows, and also just, like, lights. Colored lights. Shifting the, the color balance and whatever. So now it's just this. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Oh my god, what is happening in here? This is kind of crazy looking. Shortcut? Oh man, the lights are so strong, it's like so colored, it's insane. I don't think I've ever seen like 
this much colored light in a game before. Like, light this colored. Oh, that was right. But then if we go up, it's gonna be, like, wrong? Oh. I'm just going up here? Ah! So now this is wrong, so then we would do this, and doing this means you are at the top floor, which makes the elevator go down... No, it goes up again. Okay. Oh god, it's so blue! It's so blue! And now it's another one. But I'm, like, not checking these areas at all. Holy crap. This is so, like, surreal in a way. It's, like, hard to process what I'm even looking at sometimes. Oh, I see. I wouldn't have been able to go up, and I need to go up, which means we need to solve the color puzzle again. So these I could just explore on foot. So let's just look around here quickly. Yeah, I don't see any, like, audio logs or anything like that. That's a... Oh, there we go. Aha! Environmental puzzle, finally. We haven't seen one of those in a while. And then down here, there's nothing more. So now that the elevator is up, can we, like, see something sneaky here? No? Yeah, so we can't go up beyond here, but I can use the lift, because now it's a new one where I just do this. And now we enter the blue and green zone, and then we go into the pure green zone. This is weird. Oh! Oh, okay, I thought we were, like, passing it. No audio logs, no nothing. We can't go down here, and we can't go further up. No audio log hiding in the stairwell, as far as I can see. Alright, so now... Now we have to separate these. Uh... No. Wait, hmm. This way, maybe? Uh, no. I want to say we end it like that? Uh, maybe not. Hmm, no. What? That was right? How was that right? That doesn't even make any sense. I definitely didn't stop. What? Wait, maybe I was supposed to look through like a, a window? Shit. I kind of want- Damn, I want to go back down. Wait, and that's just going pat. What? Wait! Oh no, did I just solve, like, I skipped one? Because I solved the, like, final one? Instead of the one I was supposed to solve. Oh god, uh, can I... Wait, can I, like, go back down if I do this? Yeah, I can. Oh, this is weird. And one of them is, like, destroyed, whatever that means. Like, one of the combinations, one floor. Maybe that is this floor. Maybe I can't stop here. But what if I run off it? Yeah. Whoa. I, like, forced it to go here. Which normally isn't possible, or, or what? I don't really know what's happening, but this is strange. Those are some... Oh, there we go, finally. Some big roots. As scientists... 
We realize that color is merely a question of the wavelengths of ethereal vibrations. But that does not seem to have dispelled the feeling that eyes which reflect light near wavelength 4800 are a subject for rhapsody, whilst those which reflect wavelength 5300 are left unsung. We have not yet reached the practice of the Laputans who, if they would, for example, praise the beauty of a woman or any other animal, they describe it by roms, circles, parallelograms, ellipses, and other geometrical terms. The materialist, who is convinced that all phenomena arise from electrons and quanta and the like, controlled by mathematical formulae, must presumably hold the belief that his wife is a rather elaborate differential equation. But he is probably tactful enough not to obtrude this opinion in domestic life. If this kind of scientific dissection is felt to be inadequate and irrelevant in ordinary personal relationships, it is surely out of place in the most personal relationship of all, that of the human soul to a divine spirit. Arthur Eddington, 1927. This is how you solve this one, you just figure it out. Uh, and I mean, I have no idea what that has to do with this area besides, hey look, it's colors. Obviously, colors and how our eyes perceive colors, but beyond that, I don't know what it was talking about, really. Aha. Uh -huh. So that just breaks it, but then what does that mean? Beyond that, what are you supposed to, like, get out of this? How are you supposed to solve it? Hmm. Because, I mean, I just kind of, like, got lucky, I feel. Like, what if I just do this instead? That also works! Oh! But again, like, how would you know that, that you can combine the yellow and white? Because in the green, they will be the same. And I can step off to, like, short-circuit the... the lift? No, I cannot! Oh, bye, lift! Um... Is it gonna come back down, I guess, when it gets to the top? Because otherwise I'm just screwed. Otherwise, I think I'm completely soft locked. Yeah, it's it's coming back down. Well, I guess that's just how you find this audio log. It's kind of a little secret thing. Yeah, so it just overrides this somehow. But yeah, and now they're the same. It's just kind of weird. We could do that as well. It's the same. Like, it makes sense when you're in green, but how are you supposed to, like, know that, oh, if I'm in green, this would happen, this would look this way? I don't know. And then I guess we solved the final one? To open the laser by doing... Uh, this kind of thing... Like that? Oh! We're going even higher! Huh. Oh yeah! And that turns on the laser. There we go. Sweet. Greenhouse or color house is done. Not sure if there's anything else hidden here in the colors. Well, we don't really need to sit here watching it, so I guess we just go back down. Alright, well, now that's done. I'm not sure if I still understand, like, the, the white and black kind of spiky things that we saw in the, the quarry. I don't think I can solve that anyway, because that wasn't what this was about. I guess the, the puzzle in town that had the spiky things kind of combined the spikiness with the colors. So it's like both mechanics in one puzzle. There it goes. Good job, little laser. So I kind of want to go back to town quick. And also I want to go get the boat. So I can just like look at the map. See if there's any uh, symbol on the map that has like the spiky, spiky balls. Because those are the ones I really want to figure out.
I'm sure that would not be watertight. Aha! That's up here. So I was here, which doesn't really make sense. I guess it sort of makes sense, like white, shaded, black, just like the different hues, the different brightnesses, depending on how you look at things, maybe. Yeah, I suppose that that sort of adds up. I also can't remember if I left any puzzles in... I know I left one up here at a door, but I don't remember any other ones. If there were puzzles that were, like, too difficult to solve at the time and I left them. So this is some kind of forest over here? Foresty island. Huh. Oh, and yeah. I guess that's just, like, mazes right there is what we're dealing with. Yeah, cool. Well, let's let's take a very very quick look at the uh, the one puzzle in town that I probably can't solve yet because I haven't done the spiky ball thing. But then I guess next time, maybe next time maybe I should take a quick look at the uh, the temple here. But then after that, I want to go to the spiky ball forest to see what the hell that mechanic is about because that's actually the one I wanted to figure out, not this color thing. But the color thing was fun to figure out as well. I believe there are a couple puzzles we've ran into in the past that made use of that, and I didn't understand it. So like, right here, or this one. No, this is something completely different. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. It's not something where like, these have three, so they should be together with the red, which also has three, and then these... Oh shit, no, I can't do that. Like, these all have two, so they should be together, and then the four should be, like, on its own. I don't think that's how it goes. But I don't know what else. Nope. I don't know. This one is still beyond me, I suppose, and so is this one, but this does look like it's kind of got something with the colors to do, or something to do with the colors. But, yeah, these can rotate completely. So, like, I, I could probably figure this out. Maybe. Maybe, it's, maybe these are just, like, squares that you can't have any other symbol in or something. I don't know. Maybe I could figure that out, but I, I guess we'll leave it there, and then... I'll uh, ignore these. We'll go to the temple next time a little bit. See if I... Because I, I, there were some puzzles there that I just like looked at for 10 seconds and then was like, ah, I don't know, and then just left. So we'll uh, look around there a little bit more and then again, maybe head off into the forest. The foresty island. I don't know if I have to take the boat there or whatever, but we'll see. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. One more mechanic unlocked. Let's unlock more, hopefully. See you next time. Bye-bye.